G'day guys, how we doing? Welcome back to another video of my Let's Play of 7 Days to Die. This is the Stay Within series where I need to stay within a shopping mall and survive. I can't leave, can't go anywhere else out into the world and all that I can do is just stay in this mall, self-sustain and hopefully survive. Anyway, let's get to it. So, where we... Oh, okay. So did a bit of a looting expert um expedition last video so we're going to continue on that trend and do the exact same thing what i ended up doing was i um off camera of course i opened up some of these um harder to reach places so we are finally in and we can see what's going on hopefully we may find some interesting loot hopefully uh, maybe not who knows but we won't know until we find out so anyway what do you guys think of this series? I've been asking a few times here and there. Uh, not much responses are coming through through the comments, so I really am interested to see your thoughts about this this series here. It is something completely different as I would would be traditionally would be doing for a let's play, um, but hopefully you guys are enjoying it all the same. Um, that's what I'm hoping for, and only because, I mean, this is something completely different, and I really wanted to do something like this, and the fact that I've got the ability to uh, to do a series like this, add uh, things into the game, just to, ooh, that actually might be a good shout, let's go ahead and wear those, take out my nerdy glasses for the minute, and I really want to see, that puts me onto perception 3, that allows me to do lucky looter 3, okay, next point, I'm, I am... And I will be going into Lucky Looter 3. But for now, we'll continue on wearing the um, the nerdy glasses just for the XP of everything, of course. And uh, yeah, we'll just continue on. But I think that's where we're at as soon as I get to the next level. Which, um, look, honestly, I think this is something that I sort of halfly anticipated in happening. That I wasn't going to level up quite considerably early on into the game. And, ooh, iron. That's actually really good. I'll take that. Um, yeah, so until I sort of... Ooh, that's really good too. Um, I'll need some of those. Ooh, oh wow, okay. Chainsaw. We've got some trigger plates. Lock picks. Okay. Um, I would suspect... As, ooh, I'm getting a lot of rebar frames. This is really good. If I had a hum electrical parts, wow, I'm getting everything that I need for late, later game later gameplay. Oh, nice. Level 2 wrench. I don't think I've got a level 2 wrench. I think I've only got the level 1, but I've got a battery. So that's cool. Um, what would actually be really interesting is if I found mini bike chassis um, handlebars and things like that, and I can have the mini bike, I can, you know, sort of whiz around here in the complex. That'd be so cool if I could do that. But, ooh, is that, uh, that's sham chowder. Nice. Okay, I can do some sham chowder, which is good. Uh, I'm going back to it. Um, I really want to, um, I, I would think, that's an airdrop, I hear the airdrop, where is this airdrop, it's nowhere near, yeah, all these nice little things here unfortunately, will not get the ability to go out and search, but anyway, I keep, um, I keep getting distracted here, so I'm guessing once I start building my horde base, I'll have the ability to naturally, um, uh, get uh, more XP and level up quickly so that's where I'm thinking that might happen so right now there's just going to be a bit of a, a spike where I won't have that ability right now or just this second so yeah what can you do it is what it is actually what I might do is I might just use this chest here because this one's a little bit more central Okay, let's go ahead and drop all of this stuff off. We've got some pretty good loot in there so far. So, 100% worthwhile getting in to that space there. Actually, I might put that away for now. Put that away. Um, I've got enough water. Keep all that. That, that, that can go away. I think I might actually just eat that. And I might just have some bottled water. Just one more. And I think we should be sweet from there. Perfect done yeah so i'm guessing once i start building a horde base i think that's when i'm going to start seeing some notable level ups and from there i should be able to start allocating points accordingly and that's that's ultimately where i'm thinking that that's going to happen but when do i start doing it that's where that's where i'm not too sure just yet 
Um, I'm thinking about doing it soon-ish, but I really don't know right now. Military... That was a military box, I think. Cool. Um, what have we got in this compactor? We've got some food. That's good. Uh, more lockpicks. A bit of wood, which is always good. Oh, oh yes. That is a good find. Oh, wow. I, I need to start getting batteries. If I can get decent batteries from um, all those cars outside, um, I think I'm going to be able to have some electricity in this Let's Play, which is really good. Ooh, ooh, can I get... Can I... Can I... Yes. Alright, awesome. I'm doing really good in here. I'm actually so, I'm actually really happy that I've... Um, I broke into this... Ooh, a nail gun. Oh, this is, this is just coming up. Awesome. This is great. A lot of wrenches. A lot of wrenches. I'm just hoping I didn't miss anything. Did I miss you? I missed you. Okay, that's not too bad. Uh, empty, empty, empty. Oh wow, I'm so happy I got all of these good stuff. This is really good. Really, really, really good. Um, I think I got everything from here. Yeah, oh, search. I missed that one. Okay, cool, cool. What's that? Okay. I really don't want to leave here. I mean, I'm just hoping that I haven't missed anything. But I think I have. I think I've got everything, which is good. I haven't got the stove. That's fine. Ooh, got some coal. Um, I was actually thinking when I was gonna, I was gonna start finding coal. Only because I really want to. I mean, because I haven't got a coal mine available, I really need to work out where I'm gonna start getting um, uh, gunpowder. That's my problem. Um, I don't think I don't believe there's not going to be much of anything around here, but we'll we'll definitely take a bit of a peek ski. Hopefully, we we'll get some decent mods. I, re I really don't care for a lot of the clothing, um, the sewing kits. I'll be interested in getting only because I can craft up uh, more, um, you know, storage mods and things like that, which are actually done as well in between cuts. And yeah, so I'm not if I get a lot of of the triple storage pocket, uh, pocket mods early in game, I would have already successfully um, uh, fixed up my inventory pretty much, and I won't have an issue in um, at all, basically in having any sort of incumbentness or anything like that, as I do right now, of course. So we'll um, we'll race back over, drop a few things off, and um, we'll finish off what we need to do in this area here. So it's actually turned out to be a large POI. I'm going to need to start scrapping all of these clothing because I, I really don't need all the clothing here. I'm super happy about all the electrical components that i got here. So that has been an excellent haul. Um, got ourselves a sledge, which is good. I think I'm good with food for now. So we'll just do that and we'll race back over, of course. And um, hopefully, I'm guessing maybe because there's a lot of stoves and things like that in there, I might get a decent amount of coal. I have absolutely no clue, but that's what I'm hoping for. If that's the case, coffee beans. Look, I don't know if I'm going to be using the coffee beans at all, honestly. I really don't know. I really haven't really taken too much thought about it, to be honest with you. Um, okay, trash compactor. Got some bullet casings, that's always good. Money, uh, more bullet casings, that'll be good. But the, the, ho the whole thing that's going to be holding up production for bullet manufacturing is going to be coal, mainly. Nitrate, I've been able to find quite easily in um, in cabinets and things like that, so that, that hasn't been too much of a problem for me. Ooh, we've got an array of microwaves. I thought I heard a zombie before, which could be the case, but I'll let them do their bits and pieces, so they want to hit wherever they can hit wherever, I really don't care at this point in time, but I'm getting some decent stuff here. Ooh, I got the um, the blueberry seed schematic, or book, so recipe, that's the one I'm looking for. So that's good, that'll help, that'll actually really help. Because I do have blueberries all around the place as well, so I can actually get a little bit of blueberry seeds happening. And only because I can make um, blueberry pie. Ooh. Steak and potato. That's another nice one. 
but I really need to hit up the farm plot and start making um, a lot of um, headway in the farming attribute as well. Cool, we're actually getting some pretty good stuff here. Blueberry, I'm not going to, um, I won't eat or anything like that because I want to hang on to that. I really do. And that's just so I can make the, um, the recipe for that blueberry pie. Because that'll really help. And I think I've got a lot of the bits and pieces that I do need just for that. Uh, so like okay, another recipe. Got a little bit of coal. Not a lot granted, but it's something. Um, microwave. So we've got a few bits and pieces in here. Empty, 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 empty. I think we have successfully looted this place here, which is good. Honestly, I don't think I'll be back here. So I'm not going to leave anything behind or anything like that. So I'll leave that all aside. But if I wanted to grab some components and things like that, this would be the place I'll be wrenching as well. Um, this would, yeah, this would definitely be a really, really big help. But if anything, I would love to um, uh, throw stuff back into that. But we'll, I might do that off camera. Um, I won't bore you guys with that whatsoever. So we'll dump everything that we've got off over here off. Because we did extremely well there. I'm going to read that for the experience. I'll read you for the experience. And we shall... Is this better than mine? It is not and we shall pop everything over cool so i'm gonna go over here actually i broke into here as well so let's see what this is all about because this was a very minimal um store so i'm hoping that there's something really good in here considering that the um the bulletproof glass took 3000 each hit points for me to break through so i'm, I'm hoping i'll be rewarded for my efforts hopefully there's a gun safe okay and that's locked. Cool. I have lockpicks not with me. So guess what we're gonna do? We are going to bust open this thing. And I'm hopeful I'm hopeful that my efforts um, were are gonna be rewarded here in a minute. So let's quickly go back over here. Grab my lockpicks. Where did I find you? I've got eight of these bad boys. I am hoping I can get through this. Um, safe without any problems please let that be the case uh, open that there's nothing in here nothing else in here aside from that oh please let's see how we go with this okay so oh, okay I was gonna say nearly halfway there but I think this is gonna be a, one of those safes that's gonna be an absolute pain Yep, I think that's the fourth. I'm already halfway through my lockpicks. Not the best. No, nah, this is not gonna. Uh, this is not gonna do do for me. I know it. I know it. I'm gonna burn through all of these just for this safe. And on the other side, will it be something decent in there? I have absolutely no clue. And I think I've gone through them. Oh no! Come on, please, please, please open it. Okay, what do we get? And I had one lock pick, uh, one lock pick left to go. Okay, um, all right, not bad, but I've already got a level three pistol. Is that better than mine? That is actually better than mine. Okay, I've got an AK. I've got some bullets. Sure. Okay. Um, an okay. Um, safe. I think. Not too over the moon with it. Can I actually, I just was thinking about the mods here, hang on. Can I modify you and pop you in? Yes, I can. Very good. And awesome. So what I might do is I'll just pop that here. I'll bang all this back into here, which I'll read for the XP. Um, I don't want to scrap anything. Oh my goodness. Alright, anything else, um, you know, aside from, for some reason I want to hang on to the die. I don't, I don't know why I want to hang on to the die with some of these things. Um, only because paint wise, I don't know, and I can poss possibly use these in other recipes as well. Which I'm sort of, you know, making a case for, I don't know. 
Anyway, but all of these things have been dyed up something shocking. So, yeah, what I might do is I might get all of these. Scrap, 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 scrap. And I'll wait for those to go through. And this gives me a little bit more space that I can sort of play with as well at the same time. And you should be good. I'm not going to worry about that. So I'll go ahead and scrap him. So honestly, I think clothing is going to be pretty much one of the um, components that I'm going to be, you know, scrapping away kind of thing. Um, let's go ahead and modify. Take that out complete. And I want to modify you, of course. There we go. And we have a much better pistol. How cool is that? And what I might do is, because I'm starting to overflow with stuff, I need to get rid of some of that stuff. So you can go, you can go, you're not needed, you're not needed, you are not needed, and everything is all hunky-dory. How good's that? Alrighty, so let us race over here. And I want to go into house and see what house has to offer me for you know for today. Oh look, you can actually see right outside. That's cool. I'm hoping we have some decent stuff in here. That's what I'm hoping for. But looks like it's just going to be clothing and um, chairs, unfortunately. Hopefully there might be a um, a safe or two around here. I'm not too sure, but we'll see see as we okay and so what I'm thinking about as well is um, horde base what I want to do with the horde base I need to do a general assessment of what I've um, collected over the past 10 days up until um, horde base or oh, sorry horde night is upon us because we do need to do horde night and it's not going to be on day 7 it will be on day 10 um, I am following um, cage A48's lead on that one there so I'm going to spend 10 days here at the h and I want to have the ability, ooh nice, to clear out h and by day 10 and also from there I can go into the Eden Mall. So once I've done that I'll have um, the ability to live over in Eden but also have the flexibility of coming back to h and especially with my game stage, ooh, cool, alright, um, that I'll have the ability to go back to h and and re-raid some of the places that I have uh, raided from day one and up until now, of course. So that's that's my plan. Can I grab that? Thank you. Getting a lot of chairs, clearing out this place. Actually, this wouldn't be a too bad of a horde base. I don't know. Well, even like a like a temporary living quarters. And I don't know if I should be going in here, but I don't. Th I've broken a few of these beforehand, and every time that I have done so, there hasn't been anything interesting on the other end, so, yeah, I have no idea what I'm going to find when I come through the other end here, but we'll see. Absolutely nothing. There you go. Okay, so that's all empty, 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 empty. Let's go ahead in here. Ooh, there's a lot more in here. Well, that's nice. Let's see what you have for me. Getting some money, I'm getting all of these things here, and I can't do anything with it. No trader, can't sell anything, can't make money, can't trade, can't buy things. And I guess, you know, this is the restriction that we have. Ooh, it keeps, it keeps going. Nice. Alright, I'm actually happy. Hopefully, I'll find something pretty decent. Um, what have we got in here? It's just a cabinet. Oh, we've got the microwave. Think. See, I'm getting a bit of nitrate, so I'm not too worried about the the nitrate side of things. Well, granted, I know there's only going to be a limited amount of resources that I can utilize anyway. Um, if I go and start crafting up things, because um, I've got the ability to make the chemistry, uh, the chem station, and all that I need to do is make the um, uh, the workbench. That's the next thing I need to do. Once I've got the work the workbench ready to go, I should be able to. Um, more or less uh, start 
crafting up a whole bunch of other things too. Ooh, there's more stuff to be found in here. Okay, it's just a little storage unit. I don't think there's anything around here. I don't know if there are bookcases down there, the, those hidden ones. Can I crouch? I don't know. But I can easily get through if I break some of this. Alright, I don't know if these are... No, there's nothing back here. Let's... Oh, okay. Alright, fair, fair enough. Bit of a hidden section here. And I don't believe there's going to be anything in here whatsoever if I break through this. No, okay. Cool, cool. Okay, let's stand back up. And I want to open up this, see what's in here. There is a safe. I've only got one lockpick, so I don't think I'm going to get myself in here. See, I've already opened up the blueberry pie recipe, so I know I can use that, which is good. And I'm going to need to start managing everything here again. Might, uh, oh, you know what, I reckon I should make another drop chest. I have no idea, but I know I've got other drop chests in other locations in amongst this shopping complex and what I'm worried about as well is uh, zombies should be respawning possibly tomorrow um, so day five um, not all of them all at once of course but eventually I'm gonna have um, issues with uh, with zombies respawning uh, dogs things like that are gonna respawn which is not gonna be a good time but We'll, um, we'll have to power through it, of course. And I think we should be fine from that if and when that all sort of decides to happen. I'm getting a lot of water, which is good. So my initial issues or concerns of um, worrying about water supply and things like that are pretty much out the window. Don't have any issues with that whatsoever, to be honest with you guys. So let's just grab everything that I can. Alright, I'm just going to try this just just because I've only got one lockpick in there, I think, so I don't think I'll get through this, but we'll see. We'll see how we do, and if we can get it in one hit, well, happy days. I think that was it. Yep. We nearly got there. It really teased us, so it is what it is. Okay, we've got some iron. Uh, sorry, yeah, iron. Oh, not iron. Uh, lead. Lead, that's fine. That's what I'm trying to... That's what I'm thinking. So we've got some lead, which is good. Is there anything else up here? That's to the outside. Looks like a li little cornered section there, which is fine. I think we've looted everything in here. Let's grab that. Then loot this. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. And I need to get in here somehow. It's alright. I've got this lockpick. And this should do the job for me. Beautiful. What do we have in here? Where does this lead to? Okay. I have no idea where I'm at at the moment. Okay. May as well loot while I've got here. All this. This looks like it leads to... Ooh. Nice. Okay. Not bad. Um, I think this leads to the car park. <laughs> and I get the schematic for the battery bank. That's also awesome. That is so cool. Um, so even though that I found myself a battery bank, I've got the ability now to make them, which is awesome. Okay, what have we got here? Ooh, anvil, nice. And we've got the revolver, or the magnum. I think it's the magnum. Magnum, yeah. That's unfortunately not lootable. And, ooh, unlocked. Where do you lead to? Okay, you are locked. Let's open up this. Ooh, heist. Um, okay, use no stamina while sneaking and sprinting. Oh, that's cool. Got that. Let's loot up that. Let's loot that. And let's loot that. Okay, so that's everything here. And, man, this, it just keeps going. It literally just keeps going. I don't know where this 
Okay, so this was just here. Sort of walked past that before. Yes, I did. Alright. And we've got all of this. You know what? I'm not going to do this now. So I'm going to do this next video. Because I think we spent enough time on this. So uh, next video we'll be down here looting up all of this. And hopefully we'll get some pretty decent lootage. And yeah. Look, let me know what you guys thought about this one in the comment section, guys. Please. Um, hopefully you guys are enjoying the series. If you can leave a like, a comment down below, that would be amazing. Um, share the video if you can with your friends that might be interested in seeing a different person play 7 days. Especially in a different type of Let's Play as well. Um, but most importantly guys, if you guys are new to the channel if, and if you enjoyed my content, please consider subscribing and hitting that notif uh, notification bell icon so you don't miss out on any other videos. Um, thanks as always guys, appreciate it. you guys stopping by and watching my videos. Um, and I will see you next time.